And now let's move on to another issue. Still with COVID-19 vaccines, but many Thais have chosen to get inoculated at Julapon Hospital. But recently, the hospital has offered a public apology to people who have applied for vaccinations at the hospital through the Julapon Royal Academy channel because it had to suspend the free service from June 14th as the Academy no longer has an allocation of the two essential vaccines, which are from AstraZeneca and Sinovac from the Public Health Ministry. In its Facebook post yesterday, Julapon Hospital also extended its apology to educational institutions and state agencies, which had asked for the two vaccines from the Julapon Royal Academy and the hospital. And they also thank all the officials and volunteers who have been helping in the facilitation of vaccination services. However, the hospital said that people who have already received the first dose of either vaccine at Jula Pond Hospital are still eligible to receive the second jab on the appointed dates. Those who may develop serious symptoms and who are at a high risk of getting infected are advised to get vaccinated quickly at any vaccination facility to prevent the spread of the disease. The hospital also said that the Jula Pond Royal Academy will try its utmost to procure more alternative vaccines for the Thai people. One million doses of China-made Sinopharm vaccine ordered by the Julapon Royal Academy with its own funding are expected to arrive in Thailand this month. But the vaccine is not free and no more than 1,000 bahts will be charged per dose to anyone interested in receiving the vaccine. So to keep it simple, if anyone has applied through Julapon Hospital to get vaccinated and already received their first dose, they will still be eligible to get the second dose it.